Hey everybody, Kuzmos here, back with Regrowth. Um, well, first off, we have the beginning of a house. Uh, actually, despite all the time I took uh, getting all that wood for the uh, sample, I ended up going with the vanilla woods, just because I can use the chisel on them. Which, of course, lets me get more patterns. And I really like this dark oak parquet. parquet. I don't know how it's supposed to be pronounced. Um, obviously this isn't finished yet. Uh, there's just a, well, a few things I really wanted to get done before I spend a lot of time on that. Uh, a few things I wanted to show off. First off, I found the item I was looking for. The checklist. Pretty much works just like a book, except I can actually check things off, I think. Yeah, okay. I can check things off as I complete them, which really helps. And if, say, I get this done and want to leave, take it off there, whatever, I can actually edit it as I go. Also, I can, not like that, shift and boom. And we can even turn the page. That is bloody awesome. How do we get it off? Okay, shift right click. Okay, one of the things that's been giving me difficulties is I'm not generating enough mana. Uh, this pulls about half full, that one's all the way full, and uh, I've got a lot of runes, which is what I was working on, but I need a few more ways to generate mana. So, in that vein, uh, first off, I'm going to grab a couple, not those, a couple seeds, and I already have, I think this is everything I need. Let's hope I've actually got this right. That gets us the Indo Flame. So if we just drop that here, make sure it's bound to the right spot. Yes, it is. And we conveniently have a block of coal. Any burnable item, aside from like buckets of lava, Pretty much any burnable item that doesn't leave an item behind. We just toss it at it. And give... And take off our magnet ring. Let's try that again. Here in just a moment or two. Boom, there it goes. And this guy should be... Generating quite a... Wait, are you connected to... Oh, you bloody little. Okay, let's put this on buy mode. I should have paid closer attention. Oh well. I don't think I did that right. Yeah, we did. Yeah? Okay. Alright, so you can already see this pumping up really quick. And if nothing else, I just occasionally toss those on there. And I think as long as it's burning, that's when it's generating. I might make a few more of these. Maybe even figure out something to automate them, or at least semi-automate them. Maybe I'll just have like four or five of them and just toss them a bunch of coal all at once. I don't know. Anyways, the other thing we want is, first off, more water for our apothecary. And, okay, also you might notice I have quite a few uh, mana tablets. That's partially the reason I'm out of mana. I was trying to store up so that I don't run into the problem I had last episode, but it still takes so bloody long. In the long end, I'll be waiting just as long. So I've, I've done something wrong. Oh, you know what? I think I... What did I just... No, you can stay in there. I think you... And there we go, Rosa Arcana. Let's find a little spot we can just kind of squeeze this guy in. Um, well, you know, here... Well. You can already see my uh, experience draining. Which, in theory, yeah. You can see that you're doing a pretty fair bit of mana. 
and of course that spreader can't keep up with it. So let's change your binding to this guy. So now we can see the mana just pouring out of that one like crazy. And how? Well, not you. Yeah, that's a pretty good bit. So it's occasionally dropping off some of my XP. And I've got those to generate XP, plus I've got all kinds of uh, XP seeds and stuff like that. Yeah. This should build up mana a lot quicker than I was. Let's go ahead and drop off the last of our mana, actually. Or, sorry, XP. There we go. I can just occasionally drop off when I generate a whole bunch of XP for whatever reason. Uh, now I'm probably going to just not, not mess with Batania. And uh, there's a few different things I want to try out. Uh, first off, I need... Oh, I've got some wood on me. If I remember correctly, and if the recipe hasn't changed... Alright, Carpenter's Blocks. Um, for anybody not familiar with these, kind of place them down, and what makes them cool is just right-click on them with any other block, and boom. Alright, nothing special doing it with the regular blocks and dirt. Um, but what we can do, if I can remember how, um, alright, we're going to have to take a look here. What I'm looking for is slopes. So, three and sticks make six slopes. That almost sounded like it's supposed to be a tongue twister. Do I have, yes I do. Alright, I actually need a little bit more wood, I think. But what I want to do is get myself some slopes here. And I want to make some concrete. Which, if I recall correctly, is pretty... Ooh, not that concrete. This concrete. Yeah, just cook us up some gravel, which actually I may have already done. Let's see if I've got anything in here. No, I do not. You? No. Um, I'm starting to clear this out. Still got a room to go. Uh, salt. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and cook up this here. In the meantime, let's see what else we can work on that doesn't need mana. A whole bunch of stuff, actually. Oh, which is brew book. Guess what we have waiting right here. Not a brew book. Here. <laughs> Alright, another book. I really will eventually... Oh, wow, this is a lot of stuff. Yeah. I just threw the book. Whoops. I really will eventually get around to figuring this whole witchery thing out. But it's a little easier to go with the mods I'm a little more familiar with and get a basis. Alright, so that's that. I've got a few more things. Aha, scoop. We've got a quest for bees, and we conveniently have bees just hanging out over here. That gets us a comb, a print. Oh man, ignoble? Really? That sucks. Um. Ignoble, just so you know, for anybody that's not familiar with them, will eventually die off. The queen will. Though I... whoa. Alright, let's see if we can just kind of creep up here real quick. Hello. Goodbye. Ow. Okay. Let's get clear of things for a moment. Grab our pumpkin pies. And, okay, it's, ooh, you're a fast fella, aren't you? It's possible that there's a setting to make all the queens a noble. Don't really know. 
I probably should have read the Beast Quest. But... Oh, nope, there's a pristine. Okay, excellent. Uh, only having one pristine is a bit of a bother. But... We'll work with it. And I'll probably see about finding... Ooh, bones. No, not bones. I will work on hunting down some more bees. But for now, once we get back in... Ha, made it. That should be a quest. Aha. Nope, that was for a... Uh, more experience. Ooh, mutandus. I can't claim it because my inventory is a little too full. Um, do do do. Let's just stick our bees here. That'll do. And just at this point in time, I'm just dumping things out. Okay. Claim rewards. Mutandus can go in here. Uh, the XP can hang out there. All right. And where, oh where, was the bees? Were the bees? Was the bees' quest? That makes a little more sense, doesn't it? Alright, embraces. No, that's containers. Built from. No. Encoding, that sounds B, E, B, B ish. Alright, so we've got the bees. We need to make a bee house. Alright, let's see what a bee house takes. Bee house. Wood and slabs. And a comb. Alright. So. That's. Where did I put the combs? I just. Ah, down here. I swear I know what I'm doing. I need more wood. Obviously, I need more wood. Why would I actually have everything I need? This, guys, is why I prep up ahead of time. Did I just throw that wood? Yeah. Okay. Now I'll just make some slabs and planks. Right here. And like so. And shift click. B house. Let us go ahead and put this down. Um, you can hang out here. So we should... We should probably have the bees. Let us take the pristine and one of our drones and just drop them in here. Easy as can be. That gives us a queen. She'll breed for a little while. Let's see. Hot, arid. Uh, is that all she needs? I'm kind of surprised. Okay, well, let's let that hang out for a while, and hopefully it in fact works. And I think I can feed this some more coal. You hungry, little fella? You want... oh, right. Wearing the ring. And how are you doing? Quite nicely, if I do say so myself. Let's just stick this here. Oh, that reminds me. I found things. Let me go retrieve said things. And... It's not there. Where did I put it? Uh-oh. In my bag? No, that would have been smart. Uh... <laughs> ha! That's not made on wood. I found ancient sand. Um... It actually, once I got down there with uh, not having to worry about the... Ooh, I can claim this. Let's claim... Oh, that means more bee houses. Excellent. But now you go in there for me to forget about. Uh, sun is... Coming up. Okay, excellent. So, let's put away this as well. Turn in... Err... What wanted something wanted 
Ancient sand, right? No, it wouldn't be that. Life of the world? No, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Okay, just making sure. They're going to see me being absolutely certain that that makes no sense and that being exactly what it is. Ooh, another book to make. What is that? Golden Compass. Waypoint pins on the map are all well and good, but you can, now, well, that's not what I want. We'll look at that later. But that does sound really useful. Um, reclamation. Ah. Bottle of natural gas. All right, one more resource has come to your attention as being available on the ocean floor. You spotted small bubbles escaping from spots on the ocean floor, indicating the presence of natural gas below. If you dig down from these bubbles, you should find a pocket of highly flammable gas which will make you feel dizzy. Alright, you can utilize the air pump with a redstone signal applied to collect the gas with the air pump putting it into any adjacent tank. Bottles made from the heat resistant glass produced from ancient sand are a good way to store and use this gas. Okay, so we will cook up let's say six of this we'll need to retrieve our air pump by retrieve I mean remember where I put because obviously I didn't put it anywhere that I can remember and it needs a redstone signal applied grr underwater at that uh, oh block that's the easiest way to do that, isn't it? There's my air pump. And I don't really need this book. I'm holding on to it just in case. Um, oh! <laughs> Sorry, guys. I got completely distracted from... Alright, so, before we get to that, we've got... Have I made any redstone yet? I apparently haven't. Let's just make a whole bunch like so and we will make one block of redstone that will be how we apply our power underwater and air pump okay now more eating where I was cooking up a thing I'm sure of it and that's where I was making the heat resistant glass so down here Ah, uh -huh, yes, concrete. So, with concrete, we take the chisel and make asphalt. Now, as for the reason I have this, everything will start to come together. Maybe. Um, what I'm thinking is something along the line. Not that, not that at all. Uh, do I? Obviously. Okay, let's try this again. And again. Okay. Let's get that back. And boom. Boom. I said boom. Oh, I'm... Wow, that's really kind of a pain. Alright, so block... No, there. And there. What I'm thinking is kind of like so. Just kind of like a. What is it called? Uh, just the like the you know the black shingles. I thought that'd make kind of a nice roof for a house. I'm thinking actually. I meant to. One of the other nice things these guys do. Aside from apparently go down there and not come back. Is if I can place this correctly. And like. Well. <laughs> that work. Okay. Like so. This is not working for me. I know this works. I just am having issues. Maybe... Hmm. 
does. Let's see something. Uh, like so. Aha! There, at the back corner. Ooh, that'll be hard, won't it? Maybe? You know what? No, not not that at all. Come. Aha. Okay, I've got this. I'll get this. Oh, this. Let's just work from down here. Now. Why? Does it have to have that? Yes, it does. Okay. But something like so, I just kind of a... Well, obviously we want those down there. Kind of a little bit of an overhang. Thought that might look kind of nice. Um, I'll probably experiment with this a little bit more. Figure out how I'm going to do it. But yeah, I think that's the roof I'm going to put on here. And I'll probably use some of those guys. I'm thinking knock on a bay window kind of thing here, maybe. Anyways, what I wanted to show you guys... Do I have everything on? Yes, I do. Do I have a bunch of junk that I don't actually need? Yes, of course I do. You guys can just... There. Whatever. Um, I'll get those back. Ah, heat-resistant glass. We want to make into bottles? Question mark. Make some of those. And how do I make a tank? Oh. I want a mariculture tank. That was regular glass, copper, and wood. Okay. I... There we go. Of course, the copper, however, is back in the house. Oh, wait, 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 maybe... Ha! There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and make a tank, especially for this. Um, I've lost it already. <laughs> I lost it a long time ago. Anyways. Now, as to finding the ancient sand. First off, let's get out here. I've got the snorkel on, which makes my breath go down slower, and the ring of cordata, which makes my breath refill if I've got a mana tablet. Um, right, you just stay there. So we do not want to forget our mana tablet. Otherwise, I'm just going to go down there and drown. Let's get this back. Oh, grr. Okay, note to self, don't place the redstone block down. Oh, I'm going to lose my redstone block at the ocean. Okay, well, um, we'll have to figure that out later. But for now... Alright, back to the ocean. I shouldn't have... Uh, why did I use the redstone? Okay. Anyways, we drop down here. And first off, you can see how I'm just kind of flying. It's kind of crazy, actually. When I start walking, it, well, continues going. There is something. Oh, you know what? These guys are uh, hollow. I think. Oh, okay. Let's take off the Sojourner's Band. Of course, I think we're going to keep the step assist. Oh, it got dark all of a sudden. Okay. We're just kind of curious. Eh, you know what? I'm not that curious. Ugh. Oh, no. 
I've made everything horrible. Let me out. Let me out. Let's make a little hole there, maybe. Oh, come on. I can make it. I can make it. Okay. Alright, so, like so. And once I'm submerged, I'm still really slow. Alright, that's kind of surprising, to be honest. Okay, anyways. Woo. Okay, first off, this is really difficult. Um. Are those... No, I don't. I really don't know, actually. And yeah, I really should have cleaned my inventory out first. We're looking for somewhere with bubbles. I don't think those are the right bubbles. And also, I just want to. Oh, there's the clams I had to. They were actually kind of a pain to get. And, oh, this is, whoa, yeah, this is what kept happening to me. Also, I think, nope, that's not ancient sand. Uh, but the ancient sand, actually, actually, I think this was. It apparently is in patterns, kind of like uh, how clay is on the bottom of water. Uh, oh, ow. I've got to be careful because it's actually really easy to get lost like this. Ah, there, see, this is ancient sand. Now, are these the bubbles I'm supposed to be looking for? I honestly have no clue. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. Uh, since... Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, stop, stop, go up. I have no idea where I am now. Please be within sight. Uh-oh. Okay, here's hoping that that is my plant. Yeah, okay, I can see my pumpkins over there. Okay. We went a lot farther than I wanted. Uh, fortunately, though... We're still reasonably close to stuff we recognize. Now let's find out actually how far I did in fact go. So I'm going to have to do the uh, pumping later. Oh, wow, I'm actually on a different island. Oh wow, that's... Okay, so if I submerged, I am super quick. That is kind of awesome. Alright. So, that will have to happen. Oh, right. Put the ring back on. That'll have to, have to happen next episode, guys. Or, well, actually, I'm going to have to get that taken care of between episodes. And... Just dumping the stuff that I don't care to carry around. Alright. Let's see if I can do anything else before uh, we run out of time. Alright, so we got the Witch's Brew book. We've got the... Oh, that's what I want to do. Let's not forget that. Alright, so I'm running back this way. I think... Nope, not there. Alright, first... Redstone, actually. Did that already. And let us make, with that, first a redstone torch. And with that, we put lapis on top of that. Get a landmark. Oh, that's what I was going to do there, huh? Alright, well. Let's get four of these, I believe. And use the iron gears from Railcraft, which we made before. Surround with gold, get gold gears. And, like so, and like so, we have a filler. Um, what the filler does, I don't actually have the right stuff. Real quick, we'll just demonstrate it with this little area. 
So if I right click that, this is the area the filler will affect. And I can choose different effects, like flatten. If I have give it power, it will start flattening that. Uh, power, we are going to see about making a hobbyist steam engine. I hope. Gold plated. Oh yeah, that's easy. Do I have any more? Those plated gears? That sure would be useful. I do, in fact. And that was with gold nuggets? Right, I've got several of those. I'm going to need more, though. Glass and piston. Well, let's make these first. And like so, and so. Um, do, do. All right, so we just need another piece of glass and a piston. All right, put that away. Uh, the heat resistant glass, and that's not that. I said the heat resistant glass and the bottle, and that can go in there. And right, need more glass. Of course, I need more glass. Um, I will eventually get to the point where I actually have everything I need. But, uh, probably not anytime soon. Alright, I'm going to run this just a little bit long, because I just... Ah, there we go. Alright, so we need lever, wood... Okay, I think I have everything else I need. Or at least I have what I need to make what I need. That makes sense, right? Okay. So... Cobble. We need one of those. Actually, we need... We'll just take all of that. All of this. And make a lever. No. Maybe? I don't know. Yes, okay. I knew what I was doing. Of course I knew what I was doing. Why did you doubt me? There we go. Piston. And put that in here, but not there, and glass. So, this does not produce a huge amount. Where's our buckets? We got buckets? Yeah, we got buckets. And we got charcoal? Okay. Uh, let us pick this up, I think, and just to demonstrate the purposes. Ooh, fish. We'll put that there, and this, so if we take these landmarks, like so, and right click, that generates that just like we saw before, now they fall off, set to flatten, and let us get a bit of water. And I think we can, yeah, we can just right-click it to drop it in. Whoops. Give me the bucket. And that's generated a fair bit of water. And we'll just put that much in. Oh, you know what? I need this back. Because I need a lever. We'll put a piece of this here. Uh, all the modes work differently, but I figure I'll just demonstrate. There we go, start pumping away. Yes, okay, this has to heat up. Well, anyways, basically what this will do, here in a bit, it will eventually knock everything above this level, which I actually don't know if that includes that. I also don't know how much it requires to start going. Uh, yeah, so... This guy might take a little bit, but that is the start of our power system. And I can also use this guy. Oh, he's starting to pump. How much do you need? What I'll do here in a bit, I think. Come on. You gonna do it? Oh, I can actually hear it pumping away. It's like kind of cool, actually. Um, we can also put this into different modes. One of them is, I think you can put it into walls mode. So, like, I can just go set some landmarks out here. 
you know, wherever I want, and then put it in flatten mode, and just knock all of that stuff down. And then put it in walls mode, and boom, I've got walls. It will be awesome. You working? Ooh, things exploding. Also, I think if I let this go out enough water, I think it explodes actually, too. So let's just make certain it has water. I'm not sure, actually. Let's... That's got a decent rate going. That's that's the uh, max output, right? No, it can go up to 20 RF per tick. That might only be if... Well, if, no, if it gets hotter, I'll probably get up to that, right? What do you need to go? And you're going to keep consuming that energy, aren't you? Yeah. Alright, come on. Maybe at a thousand. I want to see this happen. There it goes. And there we go. And it'll keep going like that. Obviously, this is the kind of thing I want more power for. But I can just kind of put this out there. Start knocking those hills down and just do my thing. And even though it's slow, it'll get there eventually. I do need to work on a way to get water. I can probably fill one of these tanks with water. Yeah. That worked pretty cool. But uh, eventually we'll get a proper power source. Uh, for now, though, that will do pretty nicely. And there was so much stuff I wanted to get to, guys. Oh, well. But, uh... Managed to explore the ocean a bit. Got a little crazy down there. And we've got what will hopefully be a more effective mana system. Or at least a way to feed it boosts as I go, right? Well, if I take that off every so often. Uh, it's not super fast, but it's something, right? And I can just feed it that stuff. Alright, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, catch you later.